Dix, the heart of a hero. Hi, I'm Mr. Mendoza. I hope that you enjoy this next story. Dix, the heart of a hero. It's more of a fantasy more than anything else because, of course, in the front cover of this, you see a dog in a superhero suit. Really? Well, do you believe in superheroes? There are superheroes everywhere you go. Now we'll see what makes Dix a superhero in this story. Dix, the Heart of a Hero by Caroline Buener, illustrated by Mark Buener. What makes someone a hero? You will find out what makes this dog a hero. Was he always a hero or did he want to become one? Dexter was a little dog. His legs were little. His tail was little. His body was little. He looked like a plump sausage sitting on four little meatballs. Being the size that he was, Dex was often overlooked. The other dogs grew tired of waiting for Dex to catch up when they played chase. After a while, they forgot to invite him at all. No one really seemed to notice him, except when Clevis, the tomcat, demonstrated how he could stand right over Dex and not even ruffle his fur. I guess everyone made fun of him. Okay, he's not a superhero now. If everyone's making fun of him, there's an illustration to show how everyone's always laughing at him, especially Clevis, the tomcat. Yes, everything about Dex was little, except for his dreams. He wanted to be a hero. He could just see it. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night. This is a caption. This little square right here is a caption, and you'll see this in comic books. He had a dream, he had a big dream, I guess, to be a superhero. How is he going to get there? Look, he's studying. And it says in the captions, furiously, he studied, knowing everything depended on him. Let's read. But wanting and being are two different things. Dex lived on dreams until one day, after crawling out from under Cleavis yet again, he decided there had to be more to life than gazing at the underside of a cat. There he had to be more to him. There had to be more to him. If he could be a hero, he would. So Dex started training. He read every superhero comic book he could find. He watched every hero movie ever made. He went to the library. How else did he start training? He said he started to train. What do you do to train? He read books about superheroes. He went to the library, watched movies. What else? How else do you train? Dex figured that a hero must have strong muscles. He needed exercise and lots of it. Oh, that's good training. Dex started trotting to the corner and back every morning. He hopped over every crack in the sidewalk. He struggled to climb the garbage pile up and over and down, then up and over and down again. All day long he worked, day after day. Even at bedtime, when he wanted to flop on the rug with his tongue hanging out, Dex forced himself to circle five extra times. The mighty Dex pressed on through wind and rain and storm and fatigue. He's training. I wonder what'll happen to him. And he's training some more. Now he has socks with something in them. Now, I, I call that weight training. When it got easier to run to the corner and back, Dex did it again and then again. Then he dragged the sock filled with sand as he ran. And then two socks. When Clevis was bored and stood in the middle of the sidewalk to block his way, Dex dropped to the ground and slid under, right under him. He was too busy to be bothered by Clevis. Nothing is getting in his way. That's awesome. And the dogs and cats are still messing around with him. They're still laughing at him. Dex was tired. He was sore. He was working so hard that he almost forgot what he was working for. But one night, as he dragged himself to bed after his last set of push-ups, Dex stepped in front of the mirror and flexed. He could feel them. He could see them. Muscles! You'll see him flexing here. Being a hero now. Ooh, wow, awesome. Look, he has big shoulders, big arms, big chest. He even has that abdominal muscles. He has side muscles and back, a huge back, faster than a rolling ball, stronger than the toughest rawhide, able to leap tall fences in a single bound. Wow, he's looking tough. Now Dex didn't take the stairs. He skimmed them, 
He leaped over hydrants. He vaulted up curbs. He could jump over the garbage mountain without touching the top. He could run like the wind. He felt as if his legs had springs. Nice. Only one thing was missing. Finally, a small brown package arrived. Dex ripped it open. His hero suit it was red with a shiny green cape, and it fit like a glove. Dex loved the way it felt. He loved the way it looked, and he loved the feeling he had won when he put it on. He was ready. Remember, he had to read a lot. He watched a lot of movies, read a lot of comic books, went to the library, worked out. Now he's ready with his suit. What does the author mean when she says that Dex's hero suit fit like a glove? Look at it. How does a glove fit? Have you ever tried on a glove? With the courage of a lion, the strength of a bear, and the heart of a hero. When Dex went out in his suit for the very first time, he looked up the street and down. He noticed a young pup trying to cross the street. Dex sprang into action. May I help you? He asked. He guided the wide-eyed pup across the street and grinned as the pup stared at him, his mouth hanging open. The pup whispered, wow, it's Super Dog. Super Dog. Dex liked that sound of that. Dex liked the sound of that. Well, he first helped the puppy cross the street. I wonder what else is he gonna do? Of course, when Cleva saw Dex, he just had to comment, hey Dex, where's the party? Dex was so busy that he was able to ignore Clevis for the most part. The only time his face ever got red was when Clevis yelled, where'd you get that dress up? Dex had to wonder if Clevis saw anything but the suit. Didn't he understand that the suit was just a way to let people know he was there to help? The sun glinted off his emerald cape as Superdog raced to the rescue. Now who is, now is, he, going, who is he going to help? Oh, a rat? Looks like a dog stealing a purse? A hose? He's not fixing a hose. Hmm. There was a mouse he saved from an, a sewer, a purse snatcher he tackled. He fixed his neighbor's sprinkler. So he did quite a bit there. He found the lost kitten, pulled the rat away from a live wire, tracked down a lost wallet, put out a trash fire and organized a neighborhood cleanup day. It seemed that now, whenever anyone needed help, they turned to Dex, and Dex had never been happier. Ah, uh, he's quite a hoop superhero now. Awesome. Late one evening, there was a banging on the door. When Dex answered, it seemed as if the whole neighborhood was yipping and yowling in a panic. It's Cleavis, they shouted. He's stuck in a tree. Hurry, Dex, hurry. Dex raised his eyebrows. It was not like Clevis to move enough to get into any trouble. In a flash, he was dressed and ready. It was clearly a desperate situation. As he got closer, Dex could see Clevis. He had been chasing a squirrel to the top of the tree, but had slipped and was hanging by one claw from a slender branch. He was yelling for all he was worth. I am slipping! Cleva screeched, help me! Dex looked desperately around for something to climb on. There were no boxes or ladders, not even any trash cans. Then Dex looked at the crowd. I guess you don't have to fly to be a superhero. He just find ways to get you up, up, up higher and higher. That's what he's looking for. Because obviously, he can't fly. Quick, everybody! Dex shouted, I've got an idea. Dex le leaped onto the end of the teeter-totter, facing the tree, pushing into the ground. Everybody on the other end. One, two, three. Hey, everyone's on the other end in, in an illustration, as Dex asked him. It's a teeter-totter. I guess he's going to go flying in the air. Watch him fly. All the animals jumped together on the other end of the teeter-totter, catapulting Dex into the air, throwing him into the air. He soared over the crowd his ears and cape streaming out behind him. And Dex to the rescue. The mighty Dex flew up into the dark and starry night.
And there he is in the tree. What's that squirrel doing there? Is he saving the squirrel or is he saving his friend, Clevis? Well, is he really a friend? Since Clevis is so mean and rude to him all the time. Dick scrambled onto the branch next to Clevis. Quickly, he pulled off his cape and tied its four corners onto the screeching cat. Jump! Dex shouted. Jump, Clevis! What's amazing is, no matter what, how mean Clevis was always to Dex, Dex is always able to help him. That's a true superhero. Even if people do you harm, you try to help them. That's a good friend there. Super dog! Super dog! With an ear piercing shriek, Clevis let go. The billowing cape caught the air and parachuted the big cat to the ground. Dex backed up and slid it to the ground amidst the cheers of the crowd. He let go and he's flying through the air. Dex was bruised and tired, but he forgot his discomfort as Clevis sheepishly lumbered over, still tangled in the green cape. Thanks, Dex. You really are a hero. Dex didn't think he could feel any better, but he did, just a little. The next day, when Clevis sidled up next to him and whispered, Say, Dex, can I be your partner? Dex looked the big tomcat up and down. It would take a lot of work to turn Clevis into a hero. He could hardly wait. Sure, said Dex with a grin. Sure. How has Clevis changed by the end of the story? In the beginning, he was a certain way. At the end of the story, it was much different for him. How did he change? Think about Clevis also. How did Clevis change from the beginning to the end? I hope that you enjoyed the story. With twice the brains and triple the brawn, our heroes forge on, ever ready to lend a helping paw. Love it. There are heroes all over the place. When you compare one thing to another, like using like or as, for example, the dog ran as fast as lightning. It's a simile. It's comparing the dog's speed and how fast he ran to the speed of lightning. What makes someone a hero? Time for you to think about writing about hero qualities and enjoy it. There are heroes all over the place, like Dex. There are heroes a long time ago, and there are heroes now. Heroes then and now. What makes a hero? Well, everyone has a different thing about heroes. We have many different heroes all across the world, like Amelia Earhart and Alan Ochoa. There were two female heroes. There's also Sacagawea and Earl Morse. What other things make people heroes? Think about it, write about it, share it. Share it with anyone around you. I hope you enjoyed this reading and look for more. Or if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to this channel so you can see everything on this channel. I think that's the only way that you will be able to see everything is if you subscribe. Thank you.